So somebody told me I should come into this booth and check out these speakers. I'd never heard of this brand called RBH before, but I figured we'd give them a shot. You look like a nice guy. You got a nice Thanks. smile. Thanks, Gene. How's it going, Darren? It's going well. How are you? All right. We are at the RBH Sound booth. You guys know we are very familiar with the brand, obviously. We're at Cedia 2019. RBH has three new products that I want to have Darren talk to you about. They are very interesting. We got to hear a demo of these in-wall speakers. Of course, they always play some cool music like Brian Brumberg. So you get to hear some good bass music. Sounds like Seinfeld, the introduction to Seinfeld. Very dynamic, good sound. So Darren, why don't you give us a rundown of what we listened to today, what's here, and then the secret surprise that you have on here in the corner that goes boom. Okay. All right. Thanks, Gene. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here with you today, and thank, uh, welcome. Or thanks for coming to the booth. So, uh, so what we've got here, these are our SI831Rs. And for the folks at home, uh, the SI831R is the in-wall version of our SVTR tower, which you've heard. And we actually won a 2008 Audioholics Product of the Year award with. Well, so we had a gentleman come and talk to us about the in-wall version of this, and he wanted something that was very thin that would fit in a baffled-style construction wall like what you see here that's placed behind an acoustically transparent screen. So what we did is we came up with this 831R concept that takes that SVTR performance and it puts it in the wall. And the nice thing about that is when you have these in behind an acoustically transparent screen is that the vocals, the action, everything takes place on the screen where it's supposed to be. And so it creates a much more realistic theater presentation than what you've been used to. So we encourage you guys to learn more about the 831R on our website and through Audioholics channel. Cool, so what's the price on these? And also, can you talk about how uh, you were able to flip the channel to guess, uh, get the MTM array lowered down to where, you know, below the screen or? Sure, yeah, so the reason why the 831R is upside down here in the center is to show the ability for us to take that uh, all the way down to a lower level to get that tweeter at ear level for, uh, for your theater. And what happens when you have the longer cabinet like this is when, if you have subwoofers that are placed below the 831R, what can happen is, is the tweeter can get placed too high. But by placing it upside down like this, we have a lot more flexibility. It's just standard with anything like this, but the offset design, the asymmetrical design, allows for less, um, it allows for, for greater expansion. You don't get the comb filtering effect that you would normally if it were just a, a standard Diopolito design, wo a woofer tweeter woofer design. Gotcha. So what was the price on these again? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, those are <laughs> $1,989 is suggested retail price. Now, that's not an installed price. So for those of the folks out there who are going to have an installer come, one of our uh, authorized dealers come out and install this for you, there obviously will be some charges associated with that. That's but the, the, price, the speaker, right? price per speaker uninstalled yes okay so these look awesome so now I, as far as I know these are one of your first active speakers am I correct first active. so you have an active bookshelf speaker that has an 8 inch woofer the AMT tweeter and it's all done in the digital domain. You have DSP processing going behind that. Why don't you talk a little bit about this? What's the model number? What's the price, okay. if you can? <laughs> and then what's the design concept of it? Okay, all right, thanks. So uh, this is the PM8, and the function behind the PM8 is a powered studio monitor. Now these can be used not only near field, but also far field. And so the PM8 has an amplifier DSP combination in the back that takes an XLR input, and once the signal is converted to digital, all of the processing, all of the crossover, all of the level control, DSP, everything is done in the digital domain as you mentioned, and then it's brought out to analog at the very end. And we have 150 watts on the tweeter and 250 watts on the woofer. The nice thing about this, Gene, is that you have eight different DSP settings, and so these DSP settings can be changed on the fly as well as the level on the back of the, of the amplifier. Um, RBH will also be including a XLR to RCA unbalanced adapter with every single PM8, so you'll be able to send an unbalanced signal into it as well. So, so what should I have for you on this, since it's so customized with all the DSP, can one of your dealers go to someone's house, set this up and actually tune it to their room? Is there any controllability of that? 
So we're working to that end. Um, we're going to try to give them a toolkit that will allow them to take care of that. Yeah, um, it's it's hard to say exactly at this point of what we'll have, but yeah, it's 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 forthcoming. And the price <laughs> for each model is nineteen forty nine forty nineteen forty nine ninety five. So just under the two thousand dollars per speaker. Yes, per speaker. Yes. And and while we're here talking about this, I think I, I think it's important to mention what the finish is on the side of the speaker. So, it, the fi the finish around the the main part of the speaker is a is a standard vinyl, but the outside edges here, we've gone to this is actually called paper stone. And what this is is this is a, a restain or a sustainable product. It's a reconstituted paper that is brought together with a non petroleum based resin. So you can actually stain this or finish it however however we want to do it. But this over here, uh, this model here has a, a, a solid surface countertop material. And that, we have a couple of different options that we'll be showing on our website very soon that people can choose from on that. The nice thing about this is the dense material is very, very stiff and it reduces, it basically reduces vibration to an absolute minimum. So you have very little, if any, cabinet uh, interference with the signal. Nice. So you got great cosmetics and you actually have a stiffer cabinet as a result. Absolutely. So these look like great products, but you know, Audi Hawks is all about being a bassaholic too. <laughs> we want to hear boom. We want to hear some deep bass. I noticed there's a new subwoofer here. It's got, it looks like it's got dual 12s, front ports. Tell me about this model. What's the price? <laughs> What's the design? What's it all about? When's it available? Okay. So. I'll, I'll give you half of the prices, I'll tell you that much right now. So this is the S1212, and the S1212, there's two models. There'll be a non-powered, which is this model here, and there'll be a powered version. Now the non-powered version is available for $9.99 retail. This is an introductory price as long as our new owner, Todd Stewart, has not uh, put the kibosh on that price yet, uh, we'll still sell it at that price. So this is an introductory special, so I would take advantage of it as soon as possible. The passive version can be used with any amplifier up to about 1500 watts, and uh, there's going to be an active version available probably by the first quarter of 2020, we're hoping, and we don't have all the information and details on that yet. We're still working out some information on and some details on the amplifier itself. The nice thing about this amplifier, if it's the one, if it's the one that we're able to take care of, you'll be able to make adjustments to the DSP on the fly from your seating position with your cell phone. So no matter whether you're iOS or Android, you'll be able to take care of that immediately right from that position. So you're looking at like parametric EQ, level, phase, that kind of stuff? Absolutely. Yeah. So this is going to be a fantastic subwoofer for those who are really wanting to put a little kick in their bottom end and maybe crack the foundation or something like that. So. Nice, we like that. So that's awesome. Um, as you guys know, we reviewed the SV1212 in the past. It, ex it reached, actually it exceeded our extreme basaholic room size rating. That sub had a lot of output. Has similar kind of design to this. Maybe the drivers are a little bit different, but they are dual, tw dual 12s ported. So we're hoping that we can get one of these in when it's ready and we could do some ground plane measurements on it outside. We take it out to a big field and hopefully we could stamp an extreme basaholic rating on it. It'd actually be the highest value RBH sub uh, for extreme basaholics like us. Yeah. So that's what we're going for is, is uh, you're, you're seeing a whole new uh, Second, second round of RBH, if you will, a rebirth of the of the brand. Uh, we're we're very serious and dedicated to the to the to the industry, to to great to great sound and to audioholics. Awesome. Well, Darren, dro thanks for dropping all this knowledge on us on your new products. They look awesome. They sound great. We had a nice time at this demo, guys. If you like this video, please thumb it up, subscribe, share it. We want to get the information out. We want to get the views up. Join our Patreon at patreon.com slash audioholics. We get access to our content before it goes live on YouTube or before it goes live on audioholics.com. So I appreciate this time we spent today. And guys, until next time, keep, keep listening. listening.